Hey guys, I'll put the old bottle cap making lure thing that I've been doing around. Uh, I've decided to make one like this. It has two bottle caps right there. I haven't bent them yet, but you want the red one to be in front for the head. That means. I think this might be work work really well because the red may signal to the fish that it's injured or that it's hurt and it's like bleeding, so it's an easier thing to catch. Then take this. Uh, I got one of my uh, oh like like a fishing store, how much all this stuff like that. And you just take it and just slide it down. Don't let it sit like that. But what I usually do is I take a sinker and usually put it like somewhere like right there in the line so it can stop right there so it doesn't hit against the bottle caps all the time. So I take that. So right now uh, take BBs and I made another one of these and I put the BBs in the red one instead of the back side one. I'm going to try put them in the blue one. Listen. Make sure you close them shut so they're They can't fall out. So then you go off the red one, close that one. Actually, I might think about putting two of them in the red one. And you close that one up. So up tight. Good. Now they'll give it a nice rattle. And usually the spinner will give it some rattling noises. Usually it does. Okay. Find yourself a split shot sinker. There's one. I hate this kind of a sinker. Because they're not like the other ones I used to have. They don't have the things at the end of them, so you can like, close them. Can you so you can open them up with your teeth or whatever? Might, might take a while to get my sinker. And Do they work? Yeah. Yeah, I just hooked myself. <laughs> well, anyways, you just put the sink right there. I'll do that later. Um, you got any sinkers over there? Mm. Well, uh, give me an O-ring. A split ring. Then you take, uh, once you get the spinner on there and the sinker and everything, the sinker, even though these got BBs in them and everything, the sinker should give it at least enough weight to get a nice cast out. Then what you do is you put your split ring. I think, I, I don't know, I'm sure it will work, but on the other ones I made, I kind of messed up on them. I put swivels on them. So split rings. I'm sure it still will work, but that's just it's just a big waste of swivels. You can do your regular fisherman's knot or super eight knot, whatever kind of knot you want to do. 
It's up to you. And actually, if you just want to put a swivel right there, you can. But since I got a lot of split rings, I might as well use those up. There. Got that all done. Slide this up like that. Then usually I'm going to put a treble hook at the end. I don't know. I usually would recommend to put a treble hook instead of uh, just a straight hook. But it's up to you. Can find any triple hooks. Oh, this one. This treble hook might be a little too, might be a little too small. I have no idea if it is or not. I think it should be fine. But once fishing season opens up again, and most of the ice is melted off my off the lakes. I'm going to go test these out and see if they'll catch fish. Once again, do your regular fisherman's knot. Well, I'm sorry if you couldn't see any much of that over time. Then, take this. I just do it like that because I don't like doing that with trouble hooks because one time I hooked myself by doing that and it hurt like a biatch. And I usually just take scissors because I don't feel like using my teeth. Shit. There. Now once I find a sinker I'll just slide these down until they hit the treble hook. I got it. Like that. It's supposed to be that sinker is usually supposed to be right under the where the spinner is. And there you go. You're done. Well, I just